गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ श्रद्धा रिजर होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड टेकिंग केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ एज यू सी ऑन द स्क्रीन दिस विल बी योर कंप्यूटर बुक फॉर दिस ईयर लेट एस स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट लेसन दैट इज इंटरनेट एंड ई मेल द इंटरनेट द वर्ल्ड इंटरनेट इज अ कम्बिनेशन ऑफ द टू वर्ड्स दैट इज द इंटर कनेक्शन एंड नेटवर्क The internet is a network of thousand of computer across the world. In short, the internet is the network of computer networking. The internet is not owned by anyone, but there are the various organization that manage the different parts of the network. Let us see one by one. Uses of the internet. First one is email. So anyone can tell me what is the email long form? Yes, you are right. That is the electronic mail. Through the email, we can send and receive messages over the internet. You can exchange the text messages, pictures, sound, etc., with other internet user across the world in a just few seconds. You only need to have an email account, which is provided free of cost by the most servers. How two persons need phone. number to contact each other as same here we need email account of each other to send and receive messages through internet news groups are one of the social media site where you can exchange views idea news and other information an internet user can directly participate in discussion of a different topics Let's go further. Online chatting and conference. I am sure in this lockdown you have made video call to your friends or relatives. Am I right? Yes. Okay. So let us go with this. Internet users across the world can communicate live with one another. There are special software to have audio video conference on the internet. Other uses of the internet. first one buying and selling products through the advertisement on internet in short online shopping for example flipkart amazon olx where we can buy and sell the products managing the banking account through the internet as we know we have a credit and debit card through that we can manage our bank account studying a subject of one's choice and obtaining a degree that is the online classes as you are taking next reading newspaper magazines etc watching movies playing games and listening to music this all we can through do through the internet and computer sending greetings to our loving ones we can easily do with the emails so these all are uses of the internet we'll go further internet terminology network anyone can tell me what is a network okay i will explain you it is a group of computers which are connected to each other for communicating and sharing resources there are two kinds of a network lan and wan lan local area network connects the computer within one building computers in a lan are usually connected with cables and whereas wan wide area network it connects computers over a long distance computer in a wan are usually connected by telephone lines or broadband the best example of the wan is internet next is world wide web that is www it is a collection of all websites on the internet last is your search engine might you have search information for your school project on internet a user can search the web on the basis of any keyword and the best example of a search engine is google next concept is getting connected to the internet all the modern computers and laptops are capable to connecting to the internet how we can get this con internet connection what are the requirements 
okay so let us see the first of all you need a computer running windows second is an account with an internet service provider that is the isp your isp is a link between your computer and the internet as we can see in the screen isp is a mediator between pc and internet so there are three ways of getting connected to the internet first is modem you can connect to the internet using a modem and modem is an electronic device that connects your pc to telephone lines to able to use the internet this is known as a dial up connection it is a cheap and it is very slow second is your broadband connection the most popular way is to have a telephone line that is the line line covered to broadband so you can use the telephone for calls as well as internet at the same time third one mobile internet if you don't have a line line or if you want to use the internet when you are out you can use the mobile internet from any mobile any mobile network provider this can be used anywhere where there is a mobile signal but it you can also get connected to the internet using direct or dedicated connection this method is expensive and so only large organization only use use it students your homework is write down the definition of internet and uses of a computer in notebook thank you